Hey guys, this is Sal with Sales Media. Welcome back to my channel. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use AutoCAD and you're gonna be able to learn how to use layers and colors. And this is gonna be a very important lesson so that you guys can use these layers and colors to your advantage so that you guys can be more organized in the future. And it's gonna be very important too for your professional use so that you guys can be organized because at times when you're working with big projects, there's gonna be so many things in your drawing that it's gonna be a huge jumble mess and you're gonna to wanna to be able to hide your layers so that you can work in a specific layer at a time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at what I did here. What I did was I created different objects all with different colors and what I wanna do is I wanna put each one into a specific layer so that I can go ahead and hide and unhide them as I please. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be looking here on the right side and from there we're gonna be looking at this layer section. And if we hover over this, we can see that there's two layers right now. These are the ones that come when you open a new drawing. I'm not gonna work with these right now. What I wanna do is I wanna create a new layer. So what I'm going to do is go to this show layer list and this pops up when you click that and I'm gonna find this new layer tab. Click on that and now it created a new layer. What I'm going to do is rename that and I'm gonna start with circle. And you can also switch the color by going to this square. You can hit on that and you can change the color to however you want it to. Now for some reason I have to click on that color twice. So go ahead and do that if yours does the same thing. And now I'm going to create another layer and I'm going to call that one triangle. If I can spell it right. And I'm gonna switch the color to yellow. And I'm also going to create another layer. I'm gonna call that one square. That one I'll switch to white because that's how I drew it on here. So now if we deselect this high layer list and we go to this layer list here, we can see that those three new layers that we created are officially there. So that's good, that means that we created those and now we can click on a layer. I'm gonna start with circle. I'll click on that layer so what I'm gonna do now is multiple select all of the circles that I drew on there. And you can do that by hitting shift, leave it pressed while you click on all of those circles. And that's going to enter into this multiple select mode. You can let go of the shift button after you selected all of them. And you can go to the layer list on the right. And now you can click on that layer. And what it did was it put all those circles into that layer for the circles. So now we're going to hit escape and we're gonna do the same thing for the squares. So hit on that square layer. And now we're going to multiple select each square by hitting shift, leave it pressed and select all those squares that we drew on there. And now we're going to go to that layer list and click on that square layer. And what that did was it did the same thing. It put all those squares into that layer that we selected hit escape, and now we're going to do the same thing for triangles. So go to the triangle layer and multiple select all of those triangles. Once we do that, go back to the triangle layer, click it, and that put all those triangles in that triangle layer. So if we hit escape, we're going to check to make sure that all those layers are according to the ones that we put the objects to. So let's go to this circle layer we're actually going to click on this snowflake icon. What that's going to do is it's going to freeze or hide your layer that you clicked on. So we're going to click on that and we're gonna see that all those circles that were in that screen are gone now, they're all gone. We hid them. And if you hit the square layer here and hit that snowflake, all of those are gone. And same thing if you're on a different layer and you click on uh, the triangle layer, we can hide all of those as well. Now the only thing you can do is hide the layer that you're currently in, so that's important to know. You can, you're going to get this little screen here that says this current layer cannot be frozen because you're currently on it. You can't draw on a layer that you're frozen on. So that's why it gives you that message. So uh, now that we created those layers, I wanna show you guys how to change colors of an object. Let's say that this circle, I accidentally drew it in a different color, let's say red but because I'm working in a cyan layer, I want to go ahead and change the color. So what you can do is click on that object and it's gonna go here on this properties tab 
and from there you're gonna see that the current color that it's on is red we're going to click cyan because that's what we want to work with in that layer and we officially clicked on cyan and now it's cyan and in the future if you want to go ahead and draw new objects in that specific color you're going to uh, make sure that you're on escape mode which means that you're not selected on anything and you're gonna see this color tab here again and you can switch it to whatever color you want and now every single object that you draw is going to be in that color so that's how you uh, do that as well colors and layers are going to be important so that you guys can be organized in your workspace that's about it for this tutorial guys i hope you guys enjoyed give me a like if you guys like this and make sure that you hit subscribe so you guys can see any future videos that i make if you guys have any comments or questions leave it in the comments section happy holidays to you guys see you in the next one peace